American filmmaker and internet celeb Zach King used his charm and mastery of deception to build a worldwide following of loyal fans. Originally having found fame on Vine, this master of magic is constantly reinventing himself. From kittens to kids' books, we're pulling the truth about this star out of the hat. Zach King's upbringing was magical in its own right. Born in Oregon, he represents a diverse set of cultures. As he explained to The Guardian, I'm half Chinese, my dad is full Chinese, and I'm a quarter Nicaraguan and a quarter Austrian from my mother's side. I'm a global mix. You know, I, I've always loved filmmaking since I was seven years old. While he and his three younger sisters were homeschooled by their parents, the turning point in King's trajectory likely came around his eighth birthday, when his parents gifted him a video camera. He recalled, I fell in love with it. What I loved was how you could get a group of people to feel an emotion together. I want to welcome you to my personal lair, also known as my dorm room. As a senior at Biola University majoring in film and music with a minor in worship, King looked to one of his favorite directors, George Lucas, as inspiration to make a short clip based on Star Wars. He explained to The Chimes, My buddy Aaron and I were hanging out at his house with his new kittens that he had adopted, and we started talking about cool cat viral videos. I thought it would be sweet to see cats fighting with lightsabers. King's Jedi Kittens video amassed more than a million views on YouTube in its first three days. He admitted, Of course Kittens and Star Wars will make for a popular video, but I didn't expect a couple million views so quickly. And just like the actual Star Wars franchise, King set out to make an even more spectacular sequel. His follow-up, Jedi Kittens Strike Back, more than tripled the original in length and in just three weeks after release, earned over three million views, according to The Chimes. During a sit-down with Red Bull, King was asked whether he considered himself to be a magician. He laughed and replied, No, but I get that question all of the time. At the core, I would call myself a filmmaker. Ah, a magician, eh? Well, I dabble on the weekends. I, too, have been known to dabble. King recalled wanting to be a magician when he was a kid, admitting that he attended various magic conferences and shows, adding, I did magic with my grandpa from age 8 through early high school years. I was always a little prankster and mischievous, so I like magic because that's really the best way to do it. I saw a lot of people doing stop motion and magic, but there was never a great story. That's what I wanted to add back in, the story element. It appears that if King had to whittle down his life's possessions into one essential item he just couldn't live without, he would have to go with his Legos. He told the Orange County Register, That's something I go to every day, partly for creative inspiration, but also as a way to get my energy out for 10 minutes. I'm kind of a freak when it comes to Legos and collecting them. I've been collecting for years and years. Sure enough, King even found a way to incorporate his favorite building blocks into his professional environment. He revealed to Red Bull, If you come to the office, we have toys everywhere. We even have Legos and train sets to just continue to build stuff. The idea is to keep those younger ideas in our head naturally. And I think what I enjoy about it is actually going through the manual and being told what to do. The brand must have caught wind of this star's love of Legos, tapping King to direct a web commercial for the brand's Ninjago series. The filmmaker explained to PR Week exactly why he collaborates with family-friendly brands, saying, When I hear brand names like Lego, Disney, Crayola, I immediately think about how I played with those as a kid and try to figure out how to make something with them. It has to be a product I'm already excited about, I have, I use, or I am passionate about. Despite starring in essentially all of his many videos, King still considers his acting a work in progress. He got honest during a chat with Red Bull, admitting, People always tell me I suck. I'm not an actor at all. I just put myself in front of the camera to brand the videos. It's funny a lot of people think I'm an actor, and a terrible one at that. Audiences today really love the flashy tricks. Still, fans don't really seem to mind. The star considers himself primarily a filmmaker and aspires to create features one day. He said of his future subject matter, I have a feeling it will have to do with animals. The mystery of what if will always be a theme of our films. 
and a little bit of sci-fi or fantasy because we do like the visual flair elements in movies. As of 2021, King has yet to debut an original feature film, but he did act in a hit movie about animals, voicing a wolf in Zootopia. Before King's hilarious cat videos took over the internet, the star had already found a degree of online success. He launched his website FinalCutKing.com in 2008 as a way to offer tutorials on using the editing software Final Cut Pro. With that, he also started a YouTube channel. It's what first kind of got me into filmmaking when I saw you could put clips together and tell a story um, with different angles, and it's really fun. Although the content King first produced wasn't exactly riveting, he was able to host training seminars as a source of income while going to college. He told The Chimes, I had no idea what I was really getting myself into. I decided to fill that need and post free tutorials online. A couple years later, King decided to experiment. After his video involving a fake hologram setting on the Apple iPad 2 went viral, he created more special effects-focused content, like his contest entry gone wrong video, which he submitted to YouTube's Next Up Creator contest. And this is my submission video for the YouTube Next Up program. What the heck? The clip earned King the coveted $35,000 top prize. Remember Vine? When the platform launched in 2013, it brought with it an entirely new type of storytelling, all within six-second clips. King jumped into the craze in order to kickstart his personal brand, telling Forbes, When I first heard about Vine and the six-second videos and saw the creators with 20 million followers, I thought, this is easy, step aside, guys. But I quickly realized that it's the story aspect that makes videos successful. It still needs a beginning, a middle, and an end. I post my first Vine. It gets 100,000 Revines. I'm still trying to figure out what the heck is a Revine. King elaborated on the dismal fate of a typical content creator, telling Mashable, They create an account and expect to publish their own personal content. But after realizing it's not as easy as they thought to film something interesting, they give up and become a consumer. Though the site ultimately met its demise in 2016, King and a host of other Vine stars were just getting started. While many creators jumped over to YouTube, King had already built a following on the platform. He told The Chimes way back in 2011, I love YouTube, and right now it's my full-time job. Most people are confused when I tell them that I create videos for YouTube for a job, but it's such a valuable experience. Although King won YouTube's Next Up Creators contest that year, he ultimately found more of his viewers outside of the video sharing platform. He told Forbes in 2020, It's funny that my smallest following is on YouTube, which is where I started. King's popularity skyrocketed through his use of Vine, Instagram, and TikTok. However, the star claims that out of all the platforms, YouTube is the biggest champion of its creators. For that reason, he said, I think I'll always call myself a YouTuber. Thanks for joining me on the journey. In 2015, King and his wife Rachel sent in an audition tape for The Amazing Race. The couple explained in their submission that the experience would be their last big adventure before they started a family. I mean, we want to have a big family, both biological and through adoption. And this is kind of our last, like, big trip. Producers ended up loving the couple, and the Kings appeared on season 28 of the hit reality show. The two trained and played admirably, but were eliminated midway through the season. King recalled to the loop. It was grueling. At that point, we were like, what did we sign up for? It's not just physical, but mental as well. Looking back on the adventure of a lifetime, King confessed his fears before filming, telling CBS, We were nervous going into it because we've seen enough seasons to know that this puts a serious stress on relationships, and we've seen a lot of couples fight and argue. But it brought our communication to the next level and helped us get to know each other even better. And the millions of people that watch my videos know me as a magician. But to two little humans, I'm known as Dad. In addition to creating buzzy content for multiple platforms, King is focusing on his family. The star revealed to the Orange County Register in 2016 that for him, it's quote, the more the merrier when it comes to kids. He said, I want to have six kids eventually, and my wife and I, we're fostering one kiddo now as a way to kind of start growing that. 
the couple welcomed their first biological son Liam in 2018, and of course, King shared the news with a touch of magic on Instagram. The following year, King posted a heartwarming video detailing the adoption story of his oldest son, Mason. Mason is officially adopted! <laughs> Of course, the proud papa loves to share his favorite hobbies with his kids, telling the Hindu, I love doing the most basic magic tricks for them, watching them freak out. After all, that's where the magic all began. Clearly, King has mastered just about every form of social media using his video wizardry. And when fans see him in person, many ask to see a live magic trick. While he typically shies away from revealing his filming process, it was from those types of interactions that King committed to giving fans the backstories for his characters. Okay, this is all I need. Are you ready? This is my brand new book, and it's magical. In 2017, King released his first children's book, My Magical Life. The debut was part of a three-book deal, which later included the follow-ups, The Magical Mix-Up, and Mirror Magic. Of course, the series also features a virtual component that truly pops the story off the page. King's literary effort was such a success, according to Variety, that Amblin Entertainment optioned the feature film rights to My Magical Life. While life as a social media star may seem enviable, consistently pushing out clever and captivating content can be tough to sustain over a long period of time. King explains that his inspiration comes from the world around him, as well as personal experiences. As he told People, for example, he used to have an irrational fear of eggs, explaining, I always thought when I made scrambled eggs and I popped the egg, I'd find a dead baby chicken. Other ideas revolve around common dreams and wishes, like the desire to create money out of thin air. As King explained to Red Bull, they are all things myself and the team have thought about and wished they could be real. Works every time. It's no surprise that King's blend of humor, special effects, and storytelling turned this filmmaker into a bona fide star. In addition to his massive online following and ad revenue, King has also collaborated with the biggest brand names in the world. He told PR Week in 2016, I work with Coca-Cola, Disney, Pixar, and colorful brands like Crayola. We are about kids, inspiration, creativity, and color. Those are the partnerships that excite me. With income streams from YouTube monetization, brand partnerships, and royalties from his children's book series, King's stack of money continues to grow taller. As of 2020, he was worth an estimated 3 million bucks. I would save for my future kids college funds. I would uh, invest in a home, do all the adult things that I hate doing. But despite his big bank account, King doesn't seem to flaunt his wealth. Perhaps that's because, as a kid, he had to be clever with his cash. As a once-aspiring magician, he recalled to Esquire, I never really had the money to buy the tricks, so I had to think about how I could reverse engineer them. When he couldn't afford a $75 official magic pen, King figured out how to build one. And that's the exact ingenuity that has transformed him into a star. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite social media stars are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.